Believe it or not, right now, I'm standing right in the center of Brisbane. I'm just only a few hundred meters away from the city's busiest train station, and this area is almost quiet and tranquil. This is the Roma Street Parklands, 11 hectares of theme gardens and recreational areas right in the heart of Queensland's number one city. This is the world's largest subtropical garden in a city centre and there really is something here for everybody. For many thousands of years this area was the meeting place for the indigenous population of the area. And even in the early days of Brisbane it was an important public space. In 2001, after redevelopment had taken place, this parkland was turned into the beautiful wonder that it is today. There's so much to see and do here, and let's go take a look. Right behind me is this beautiful open air amphitheatre here in the parklands. This place plays host to uh, stage performances and also musical concerts and in the past was even the location for the annual Carols by Candlelight. That's since been moved to another location in the city. But it's a really beautiful and impressive outdoor space and I can just imagine this place would sound epic with an incredible orchestra up there on that stage right behind me. So right now we are in one of the areas I was most keen to see in the parklands today. This is the Spectacle Garden. Even though it's winter here in Queensland, it's currently it's the middle of June, this place is still a blaze of colour with so many beautiful trees and plants to check out. These gardens look absolutely smashing and there's no surprise that right now on a Saturday afternoon there's a wedding going on right behind me. Uh, I was very careful and I made sure I didn't accidentally crash it. But there's no surprise that I would hold those sort of events here because this place is truly something else. Whoops, here comes the bridal party. Um, if you ever watch this, the bride and groom, all the best to you. All right, right behind me is the Queensland Wall of Greats. This wall recognizes Queenslanders who've done an outstanding uh, things for their community and their country. Behind me, you'll find things like uh, musicians and cricketers and other sportsmen as well, and also community leaders and people and organizations that have made real, real change. The wall has been around since 2001 and is a great way to commemorate the fine work of individuals and organizations that have done awesome stuff in the great state of Queensland. I'm not sure if you can hear me right now, but how awesome is this amazing water wall behind me? It's so loud. These water walls behind me are pretty damn impressive. And on a warm day like today, like round about mid-20s, super refreshing. <laughs> so, come with me, we're gonna go through this bamboo forest right now. And you can see all the water is popping up and it's creating this awesome steam-like effect. You really do feel like you're in the tropics. Of course, one beautiful, amazing, man-made waterfall isn't enough. There has to be several more here in the gardens. And this one includes uh, one of the locals, a bin chicken, also known as an ibis, and uh, also known as the tip turkey as well. They're everywhere around Brisbane, everywhere around Australia. They're a native bird and uh, yeah, they love uh, being around urban areas, just like this guy. A 
it really seems like it doesn't matter where you look in this park today, you are going to find people taking photos, wedding photos, family photos, some kind of model there with this black gothic gear sort of going on in the background as well, taking photos. It's that kind of place. It's a beautiful, beautiful spot right in the heart of the city. Alright, this part of the garden is called the Memorial Garden. Here you'll find statues and dedications and memorials to those who served uh, our, for our country uh, in the First World War, Second World War and the Vietnam War. It's a beautifully tailored garden that commemorates the heroes of the past, many of whom gave the ultimate sacrifice. Lest we forget. Alright, so right now we're going to uh, check out the rainforest section of this beautiful parkland. This really is a stunning place with so many public spaces that everyone can enjoy. And right here, you can't even hear the heartbeat of the city. It's so beautiful, so tranquil. That water that you hear from the uh, man-made waterfalls is just so, so lovely and so refreshing. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful spot. I really recommend you check this out if you make it to Brisbane. No doubt about it, that is a smashing view of Brisbane City. The beautiful parklands in the foreground and the city skyline right behind. Hey, thanks for joining me today on my trip to these amazing gardens right in the heart of Brisbane. The Roma Street Parklands are something else and a place you should definitely check out if you, end, if you ever end up in this part of the world. If you want to learn more about great places to visit here in the land down under, Australia, you want to click on this video over here right now. As usual, thanks for your company and I'll see you in the next video.